I like to give all glory and praise and honor to the Most High. And we're going to get into it, man. I wasn't even planning on doing a, a lesson today, but, you know, just me seeing this. Uh, some rapper by the name of uh, 600 Breezy. Um, you know, is uh, mourning because uh, his girlfriend passed away by suicide. And um, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, it seems, it, I, I mean, to me, it seems like she was kind of being targeted, man. And I'm going to show you why I think so, you know, in a few, in, in a few seconds. You know, you know, and I, I just find it weird, man. You know, when I, when I, when you when you see the mental health thing, we know what that what's that code for. You know that, and you know these guys, man. Even though they'll come out and they'll write these messages, baby, why would you do this in the third? We know what they do. You know, we know what they do, and I'm not saying this specifically towards him, but I'm just saying like. You know, for 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 my, for my for my target individuals, man, we you know that these guys are blatantly lying your face when they when we when you know they was they were setting you up the whole time, you know, you know because uh you can't move up in this ladder, you can't move up in this world unless you do these things. Can't you can't you can't rub shoulders with the big shots unless you do these things because they have done it, you know, and the ones that don't do it. They're at the bottom. And, you know, you got... And then you got the leeches that's fiending, you know, for the opportunity to get on top. And you're going to see, you know, people that's close to them, they, they, they suddenly pass, you know. But let's, let's, let's get into it, man. I'm going to show you why. I mean, so he posted, um, you know, this is part of a, a text message that she sent him before she, before she died. Uh, or before she committed suicide. And I just kind of find it weird that you would post this online, you know, uh, or just, you know, I mean, she's not even buried yet, you know, and if you was going to post it, why post it so quick? You know, this is crazy. But, you know, they, they do a lot of things to keep the heat off of them, man. You know, so I just want to read this right quick, and I'm going to show you why I think that she was kind of targeted. She said, um, living just always seems overrated. I'm sorry, Maine. It's one thing to ruin your life, but... I had to go and end mine too. Understand that this is my choice. This is what I wanted. This is what I've wanted for a while. I just don't fit here. I'm not happy in this world. I just can't. T I just can't. I just can't fake it anymore. I don't want to be here. It's too much on me. I wish I could take it all back, undo everything. So I, so I never even called you. Nothing seemed real, Antonio. Not my business, not my relationship, not even me. My heart was weak from the stress and my ovaries hurt, but they keep saying nothing's wrong. I mean, so that right there is the first indicator for me. So it seems like maybe she was going to the hospital and we know what they do when you go to the hospital. They, you know, they, they may find something wrong with you, but they're going to they gonna deny it and say, oh, nothing's wrong. Why? Because they're trying to collect that, uh, that life insurance. You know, I feel like I have bugs on my skin that that uh are going in uh, go be on the next side uh that won't come off no matter how many times I wash. So, for my target individuals that have been hit with directed energy, when you when they when they turn it down real low, you know, when they're trying to annoy you for a little bit, you know, it feels like you know like needles on your skin, you know. So when she said this, no matter how many times, you know, she washed, it feels like she has bugs on her skin. You know, this is what came to mind, you know. And for those that's been hit by, by you know, the real ones, you, you could understand, you know, what she's talking about when she says this, you know. <sighs> you know, you can understand what she's talking about when she says this, man. Now... I didn't really see no too many. I didn't see no Illuminati symbolisms on her page or nothing like that, you know. And um, the boyfriend, uh, just the only thing I could, the only thing I could find is this, you know. And it's a you know old picture on his page, you know. He don't, he's not throwing up too many Illuminati Illuminati signs, 
you know, but we know what this means, you know. And, uh, you know, all he raps about, once again, like I talk about my page, is guns and murder and violence, this, that, and the third. You know, like, like I told you before, man, you got to stay away from these kind of guys, man. Because they bring nothing but death, you know, especially the ones that's fiending to make it. You know, they bring nothing but death, man. You know? And I, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't know it was this many niggas that sold out to the devil, man. I didn't know that. I guess I was naive, man. But, um, I didn't wanna harp on this one too long. I just wanna, uh, go into a little lesson real quick. And we're gonna bring up this verse right here. First Corinthians chapter 10, 13. There has no temptation taking you but such as is common to men. But the Most High is faithful. See that? The Most High is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it, man. You see that? He's faithful, man. And he's not, he's, he's going to make a way, you know, for you to, whatever you're going through, you know, for you for you to bear it, man, that you may be able to bear it. That's why you're not supposed to give up, man. That's why he said endure hardness like a good soldier, man. You know? He will also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it, man. So, man, see, if you know your scriptures, man, you know, you wouldn't be committing suicide, man. You know? And, but... Right here, I want to show you that, look, man, we know that things are not easy in this life. And we're going to show you that at one point, Moses even wished for death, man. He wished for death. Why? Because the people was giving him hell. You know, they were stressing him out. You know, he wished for death, man. We're going to show you that. Numbers chapter 11, 14 through 17. This is Moses right here. I'm not able to bear all this people alone because it is too heavy for me, man. It's too heavy for me. That's what he's saying, man. These people are stressing me out. Um, verse, uh, verse 15. And if thou deal thus with me, kill me. He's telling the Most High that. Kill me. I pray thee out of thy hand. If I have found favor in thy sight, and let me not see my wretchedness. You see that? He's asking the most I look. If you found favor in my sight, just kill me, Lord. Kill me. Because I, I can't bear this alone. And the, Lord, and the Lord said unto Moses, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest to be the elders of the people, and the officers over them, and bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation, that they may stand there with thee. <laughs> and I will come down and talk with thee, with thee there, and I will take the spirit which is upon thee, and I will put it on them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee, that thou bearest not thyself alone, man. So you see that? The Most High said, look, he was going to take the spirit of Moses and put it on the 70 elders, man. He's going to put it on 70 elders of Israel. Now, that just goes to show you right there how strong Moses was, man. That he could take, he take, he could take a portion of his spirit and give it to 70 other people, man. So, the Most High, first of all, the Most High and Moses, they had a great relationship, man. So, the Most High, you know, they, they would talk. And Moses, Moses is telling the Most High, look, man, I can't bear it. But, the, but you know what? The Most High knew he could bear it, you know? He knew he could bear it because he knew the type of spirit that was on him. But, you know, they still had that type of relationship where the Most High still helped him out. Like, all right, look, I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to do you this favor. I'm going to take a portion of your spirit and put it on 70 out of the elders, you know? So, you know, just, just to cut some slack off you. But, you know, the Most High already knew, like, even if he didn't do that, you know, the type of spirit that was on Moses... You know, he could do it, man. He could have done it, you know? So this is why the Most High said, look, man, he already knows the type of spirit that's on you guys, man. This is why you're not supposed to give up, you know? And not everybody has this kind of spirit, you know? 
Not everybody, man. You got to connect. You got you to gotta be in tune with the most high. That's why you see, you know, some cats, they can't take it. You know, and you hear a lot of targeted individuals say, look, man, if these other guys were in your position, they would break in a month or less. You know, and you know that. All these guys that's out here, he, he, he getting it laughing, they would break. They wouldn't even last a month. They wouldn't even last two months. You know? Oh, man. So you see, Moses even wished for death, man. You know? But, and, and, you, and you see, like, like Moses was like a demigod, man. You mean? Because he was that powerful that the most I could take portions of his spirit and give it to 70 other people, man. Oh, man, let's keep going. I'm not going to make this one too long. Numbers chapter 11, 24 through 26. Uh, I'm going to just read 24 and 25. I'm going to just read uh, 24 and 25. So let's go. And Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord and gathered 70 men of the elders of the people and set them round about the tabernacle. And the Lord came down in the cloud and spake unto him and took the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto seventy unto the seventy elders. And it came to pass that when the spirit was rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. So you see that? Moses was so strong, man, that the most I could take portions of his spirit and give it to 70 other men, man. You know? And you see you see something similar with that with Elijah. When he was getting taken up, he gave up a double portion of his spirit to Elisha, you know? You know, so these men had certain spirits on them, man. You know, that they were able to bear these kind of things, man. You know, Gideon, Saul, David. They had certain spirits on them, man. That's why some when other people look at you, they, they can't, they're like, damn. You know, she's still going. He's still going. Because they don't have that type of spirit on them. They don't have it. You know, the things that they doing to you, if you did it to them, they would break. They would break. You see, but Moses carried on and endured hardest like a good soldier, man, and finished the mission. So you see, even he wished for death, man. You know, it was hard, but he didn't, he never gave up, you know? And that's why he was one of the elect. That's why you read about these people. That's why it's, it's, it's few of them in the scriptures. You know, it's not a lot. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't many in number. You know, they stood out. They were different. Oh man. So yeah, man. I just I just wanted to uh, you know. This verse just popped into my head, man. You know, when I when I seen what was going on with, 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 with you know, on the media today, man. You know, but um, so you see, man. Even Moses wished for uh, death, man, at one point, because that you know this life was hard, man. What? Why? Because he was uh, serving the Most High. You know. When his scripture says, when you serve in the most high, prepare yourself in temptation, man. You know, those that sold out. You know. You know, they enjoying they enjoying pleasures of sin for a season, man. I'm pretty sure this girl, man, come on. Some of you some of you target individuals, man, you living out your car, you doing horrible, man. You know. You know, you know, this girl had it going for her. You know, and she did this, man. You know? But, um, you know, they say, I mean, suicide, you know, the, uh, the Bible hasn't, it's not the unpardonable, it's not a, the unpardonable sin, though, you know, but it, it's still not a good thing. It's definitely not a good thing. Let's take a look at what Josephus says real quick about suicide. So right here, this is what um, Josephus says right here. Now, now self-murder is a crime most remote from the common nature of all animals and an instance of impiety against God, our creator. 
nor indeed is there any animal that dies by its own contrivance or by its own means for the desire of life is a law engraven in all in, in them all so he's saying not even the animals could kill themselves man you know they don't want to do that they want to live it's only us that does that you know he says it's a crime you know it's a crime man against the creator but he doesn't say he said but he says also you know in, in the bible it doesn't mark it down as you know the unpardonable sin though you know but it's definitely not a good thing when people do it so man yeah so long story short man mind the company you keep you know be circumspect don't walk around as fools you know, and stay connected to the most high, man. You know. Cause a lot of a lot of it's a lot of demons out there, you know, that wanna join the ranks in the high echelon of Satan, you know. You know, for that for that paper money, man. That paper money. And they, and they'll do anything to get it. You know. So, I just wanted to show you, man. Like, look, man. It seems it, to me, it seems like, look, man. She kind of showed signs of, uh, of being, you know, targeted, man. And this is what they, this is what they want, man. They want you to commit suicide, you know. This is why they doing all manner of wickedness, you know. You know, and these guys, these guys, that when they, like I said, when they sell out, they're not gonna tell you nothing. They, they gonna be sitting out right there, you know, watching you going through all your hell. You're gonna have to bear that burden, man. But like, you know, like the scripture says, the most high, you know, he's always gonna make a way for you to escape, you know. And then, you know, you just gotta be patient, you know. Cause then you're gonna see that 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 that, that you know, when you stay patient, you stay faithful unto the most high, you're gonna see the most high turn that on their heads, man. You know. Cause there's certain people you're not supposed to be messing with out here. And when you when you start messing with them, the most I lift up a standard against you, you know. You know, you could try that stuff with these demons, but when you when you coming after the, you know, certain people, and the most I has his hedge on them, you know, it's never a good thing, man. So, um, all praises to the most I, man.